baby. In we Jasper, which is the next phase of our human hovel expedition. So stay tuned and um, we'll start looking around these caves. It's time for another one of Kevin's Big Adventures. This time we're off caving as part of our human hovel walking track as Kevin and his friends go out exploring in some wild caves. So stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we start our exploring around these amazing caves in Wee Jasper. So guys, in this episode, we're exploring these wild caves um, and I'm not going to talk all the way through this. So just stay tuned um, and have a look at um, these amazing cave formations. It's a bit dark in the cave. So some of the stuff I've taken photographs of, which I'll put into the, um, the video so you can have a better look at the kind of things that we were seeing in the cave. So the GoPro was on my head guys, so it's going to be a little bit wobbly because I was walking around with the GoPro on my head in the cave. So hopefully it'll give you a good understanding. So it was um, a muddy cave, so this is a wet kind of cave. Um, and it was all limestone, so we were climbing down through bits, walking along. Um, and going through different parts of the cave seeing some amazing flowstone and when you think it's taken millions of years for this stuff to form you've got to be kind of careful where you're stepping and where you're putting your hands so you don't damage this beautiful structure now this is a wild cave so as I mentioned um, so there's no tourist lights, there's no paths um, cut through. We're literally just walking through the wild cave or climbing through, scrambling through, depending on the size of the space. So there's some spots in the cave where we actually needed a rope hand line just to help us get up. So it was just a, a thin piece of line, but it did make life so much easier um, to actually scramble up some of the embankments in the cave. So, But we it was great fun and we've been really enjoying it.
There was a few spots, guys, where I spend my hand, time on my hands and knees just scrambling up. So, hindsight, I should have had a pair of gloves. So as you see a light guys as everyone scrambled down um, the steep slope from the other side um, to get um, to the, the next part of the cave. So in this cave, there were some amazing ring pools, really deep ring pools. So I hadn't seen ring pools like this before. So it was really amazing to actually see these ring pools um, that are built up over millions of years. So guys, this part of the cave, I, it's amazing. So it was so high. So I reckon you could have um, put two churches um, with their steeples in here on top of each other. Um, just this amazingly large open cavity. So it was mind blowing.
So guys, we arrived at the back of the cave. Um, this is, um, then we'll be starting climbing out. Um, but it's really sad to see that um, the cave's been vandalised like many other caves where um, people have put their names on the flowstone. Um, good news is a lot of this dates back to the 1800s. And um, however, I don't think I'd be wanting to travel all the way through here with a um, with a candle or a lantern. So um, yeah. Anyway, on with our caving adventures. The stream that ran through. What was surprising was there was little yabbies um, living in the cave. So it was fascinating to see these yabbies um, wandering around in the water in the cave. So guys, you can see how amazing this flowstone is as it flows down um, and picks up all these beautiful crystals in the cave. Um, absolutely stunning. So guys, everyone went wow, and so I've cut this bit out of the video and slowed it down so you guys can really see how amazing this crystal formation was. Our whole party was like, oh my god, wow, check this out. So it is just amazing when you think that all these crystals formed millions of years ago, um, maybe even in the time of the dinosaurs they started dripping into this cave and creating these amazing stalagmites stalactites flowstone just stunning
So guys, this was a little bit of a tight squeeze as we climbed through um, this little tunnel, which was really, really cool. Um, we had to take our backpacks off. So um, the rules when we went into the cave was that you weren't allowed to bring any food, just um, the backpacks just had our water um, and first aid kits, those kind of things. Still had to take it off just to get through this spot. So guys, it was really cool seeing these shark-like um, um, formations. You can see all the little shark teeth um, in the flowstone. So it was very, very cool.
Okay guys, so we're heading out of the cave and you can now see where the, um, the creek comes in. Look at how beautiful and clear that water is. Anyway, we're going to do a bit of climbing and scrambling to get out because we're going out through a different route to how we came in, uh, which is going to be exciting. So um, just keep watching. Well guys, after an amazing time in the cave, it was time to head out. Um, so we had to scramble up these rocks to get out of the cave. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our caving adventure um, as much as what we did. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the future on another one of Kevin's Big Adventures. <laughs>